I just finished a Rev D and I just wanted to show you without before even starting a calibration how I do the Q bias step. And there's a one little trick here that 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 may help somebody. So I'm gonna show it to you right now. Uh, pump in your one kilo or a 1K 0 dB signal. I measure the 0 dB, like 0.775 volts AC on the inside after I turn the attenuator, I turn the the T pad up a little bit. Just make sure you have a, a, at least uh, 0.775 volts coming in when it's under a little bit of load from the, the input knob. Anyway, uh, let's set the compressor up, uh, release all the way up, attack is off, ratios 20 to one, and it's in plus four mode for the meter. I'm gonna turn the output up to about, you know, 18, whatever, it's not that important. And for the input, uh, this is maybe a little different than what you've seen before in, in my other video, but this works for me. I've kind of become an expert at wiring the case, so I have really solid wiring in the in the case. Uh, really good connections everywhere, and it always seems to get, you know, it's pretty hot. So if you can see here, I'm gonna turn it up just a teeny weeny bit here until the meter kind of sits straight up and down. And it's between 36 and 48. And what I'm gonna do, what, what we need to do with R59, which is the thing, we're, the trim pot we're gonna twist for the Q bias adjustment, we wanna set it to the extreme where the most amount of signal is going through before we start the, uh, the, the adjustment. So what I do is turn it in a direction that sets the needle, needle farthest this way. So if I start twisting it and it starts to drop to the negative, that's the wrong way. I don't want to start with the with it twisted to the extreme that pushes the needle that way. I need to twist it to the extreme so the needle is going to the positive. So I'm going to start twisting the needle, uh, the trim pot, and the needle went up when I twisted it that way. So I'm going to continue to twist and turn the trim pot in that direction until I feel it gets a little tight and I know I've reached the end of the the trim pot's twist point. Okay, there, it, 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 it got tight right there. So it could have been anywhere. I mean, it just depends on my the way I have my input set up, but where your needle ends up when we do that first little step, it doesn't matter. As long as you know that when you're twisting it, it was going up, you need to go to the extreme that way before you start the cue bias. So, so now that I know that it's at the extreme and it's letting the most amount of signal pass through, I'm gonna turn this input up to plus one. So this is this is the step where it's exactly the same as MNAT's video that he shows. And now I'm gonna turn the trim pot the other way, the opposite way that I just set it to bring that needle back down to zero. There you go, man. That's the easy way to know which way you're turning that, that R59 to start with before you actually start the cue bias adjustment. So I hope this helps somebody. So we have a, uh, a compressing, or at least hopefully compressing unit. I'll let you know. Thanks.